Can you tell me what happened, Keith? No, I'd been seeing my father after, after being finishing work at Dunfarurie. <coughs> he took him up to the graveyard to lay flowers in my mother's grave. Went and had my supper with father after that, and then came back to Huntley, had my shower, come down the stairs, and the next thing I remember is being in what 20 ARI. And Katie, what are your memories of <laughs> My happened? memories was that um, I was just about, I was getting myself ready to go out for the evening, and I was just about to go and put my coat on, and I heard this sort of uh, un unusual cough coming coming from upstairs. So I, I, w I started to go upstairs to see what was what, and I found Keith um, slumped, unconscious, halfway down the stairs. And what happened then? Uh, after that, I um, immediately phoned the dial 999 because I couldn't rouse, arouse Keith at all. And the nice lady on the other side of the other end of the telephone asked me to, to try and get Keith into weird and wonderful positions, which I couldn't do because Keith was just a dead weight. And when I realised I couldn't do what I was being asked to, asked, um, to do, I went next door to our next door neighbour who came round and immediately started um, performing CPR on Keith. We were very, very lucky in so far as our next door neighbour was in the oil industry at the time and so he had gone through a, an advanced first aid course. Mm. And then the, <coughs> what happened when the ambulance, did the ambulance take a long time to arrive? Or? No, the ambulance were, were with us very, very quickly. They were with us actually in under, it, it, it seemed like, a, like, an, like an eternity to me, but they were actually there within five minutes. And then there was a GP with us within 10 minutes. Okay. So they continued CPR on? They did, yes. So it, if it hadn't been for our next door neighbour qu quick thinking to start CPR on Keith initially, Keith wouldn't be here today because the ambulance driver said that um, five minutes would have been too long even even in Keith's situation because he was it was so severe. So when the paramedics came, did they shock Keith at all? Yes, they he... did. Yes, he, yes, Keith was shocked three times before he left the house. And was he awake when he... When he left, I don't know because I didn't. I didn't actually see Keith leaving the house because my next door neighbour kept me out of the out of, out of, out, oh, out, okay. out of the action. Okay, so, so you should should taken you away somewhere. Yes, else. yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you like to have been there? Do you think, or were you glad that you weren't? I, I think in some ways I'm glad that I wasn't because I was I was I was determined that I was that I wanted to go in the ambulance with Keith to um, the hospital, but the GP said no, you don't because you just don't know what's going to happen in the ambulance. And so, um, I'm pro I'm, in some ways, in some ways I, wish, I, wish, I, wish, I wish I wish I was, but we were so lucky having such an understanding next door neighbours.